Question 4.2 states that with increasing costs in medical bills for pets, more owners are taking out pet insurance policies for their pets. Sigre found information on two options for pet healthcare online that is shown in Table 7. Option 1 is Pawpaw A with a monthly premium of 330 Rand per dog and 260 Rand per cat. While option 2 is Popo B, which has a monthly premium of 275 Rand per dog and 215 Rand per cat. There are separate fee structures for the claims for each option. For Popo A, you have to pay a standard excess on all claims of 15% with a minimum of 250 Rand per claim. Then there is a note which states that all claims not pre-authorized will carry an additional excess of 25% with a minimum of 500 Rand. Then you have the fee structure for claims for Popo B. There is a flat excess of 1000 Rand per claim and a note which states that all claims not pre-authorized will carry an additional excess of 20% with a minimum of 500 Rand. Now there are additional notes that states that there are age limitations which are animals between 8 weeks and 8 years. This means that a pet can't be younger than 8 weeks or older than 8 years to qualify for this policy. Then there is a waiting period of 30 days from the start of the policy before claims will be considered and accidental injuries are covered from the date of inception. Then there's another note which states that a pet insurance policy is similar to a medical aid but for pets. An excess is an additional amount that must be paid when you make a claim on your policy. We have to use the given information to answer the following questions. In question 421, it is stated that a dog had a medical procedure of 17,000 Rand that was not pre-authorized. You have to calculate the difference in the amount payable by a policyholder on Popo A compared to Popo B. First, we will have to calculate the amount payable for Popo A and then for Popo B. Then we're going to have to find the difference between these two amounts. Now for Popo A, there is a standard excess of 15% with a minimum of 250 Rand per claim. Since the claim is 17,000 Rand, the excess that must be paid is calculated as 15 divided by 100 multiplied by 17,000 Rand and this equals 2,500 Rand. Now because the claim was not pre-authorized, it will carry an additional excess of 25%. So the additional excess cost will be 25 divided by 100 multiplied by 17,000 Rand and this equals 4,250 Rand. So the total amount payable for Pawpaw A will be 2,550 Rand plus 4,250 Rand and this equals 6,800 Rand. Next, we will calculate the total amount payable for Pawpaw B. Now, Pawpaw B carries a standard excess of 1000 Rand per claim. Plus, there is an additional excess for claims not pre-authorized of 20%. Now, the additional excess will be 20 divided by 100 multiplied by 17,000 Rand and this equals 3400 Rand. So the total amount payable for poor poor B will be 1000 Rand plus 3400 Rand and this equals 4400 Rand. Now we can calculate the difference in the amount payable by the policyholder between these two options. The difference in the amount payable will be 6800 Rand minus 4400 Rand and this equals 2,400 Rand. 
In question 422, you have to critically discuss why the company would provide a general waiting period. A company will provide a general waiting period to ensure that animals with pre-existing conditions do not claim within the first 30 days.